What's going on guys? Brett Williams here from lifeofthoptions.net and on today's video we're going to jump into another Instagram post that I've put up here on my Instagram Life with Options. Sometimes the relationships that seem the happiest on the outside are actually the unhappiest. Now the reason why I've chosen that one for today is the fact that comparison is the well, the saying is comparison is the root of all evil. And why is that? Because we're looking at other people's highlight reels, even it is on like social medias and stuff like that. Seeing what is going on from the outside is never really the same thing as what's going on on the inside. You know, maybe you've had that experience before where you've been in a relationship that behind closed doors is so toxic and abusive and, and it's just an unhealthy space to be in because I know sure as heck I have been. There was a relationship that my past fiance and I, behind closed doors, it was, we're at, it just was not a good relationship. But yet the perception of everybody outside of the world was saying, oh, you guys look so happy together, you're this, this, and everybody's gonna be supportive of you, and everybody's gonna tell you that you look good together, or you, you look happy together, or whatever it might be, because that's their version of maybe people pleasing or you know not wanting to create any tension or just wanting to support you on your journey and what have you but when it comes to looking at other people's relationships when it comes to observing other people whether it is not just in relationship but be real understand that what you see on the outside is not the full picture so when you're comparing yourself to somebody else you're saying that i'm not I'm not worthy of, of what they have, or I'm not good enough, or whatever it might be. But just know that coming back to your center, your truth, your understanding as to where you are at at the moment, and being real with what's going on, and asking the question, you know, why is my relationship not happy? Or why, why is it not working out? Or is this even a relationship that I want to stay in? Because maybe that's the other question. If you are that relationship that behind closed doors is not healthy, it's not happy, then is that actually a space that you want to stay in? And I hear you, Brett, we've got kids, we've got this. I get it. And I've coached many a women who've been in a relationship for a long time. They've married somebody that they knew that was never even the right person for them to marry in the first place. They have kids. Has somebody walked that path before where they've chosen themselves and it's ended up being a healthy relationship in the end? Yeah, absolutely. It is possible and you may not see how it's possible right now but it's possible because somebody else has done it it's just a case of you and that heart needing to work it out but at the same time that does not mean that you cannot turn that relationship around and make it healthy and happy but it's going to take two parties it's all well and good for you to be going off and doing the work on yourself if he's not doing the work on himself as well and acknowledging what's going on because then it's just going to create tension within the two of you. And one of the dynamics that I've seen before is that, you know, one party is male or female, one party is going out and doing the work. They're exploring their, their past limiting childhood beliefs, the patterns and limitations that have been keeping them stuck for so long. They've been working through all of the old stuff and then on the other side of it is the other partner has not been doing that. So the partner who has been doing it is coming up and going, hey, I realize this, I realize this is where it's all coming from. And then the other party is going, well, see, I told you you're wrong. I told you that, you know, see, all of this, it's all your fault. But yet that other, po other party is not actually taking ownership for their stuff. So yes, when it comes to coaching couples, it really requires both parties to take ownership and understanding all of their stuff, all of their childhood trauma, all of their childhood beliefs, all of their unhealthy strategies that has led to them getting attention from unhealthy manipulation and that sort of things. And when both parties are doing that, then yeah, absolutely. You're able to have that deep connected conversation. You're able to have that deep connected relationship that you are solely seeking, but yet be real with yourself. If you're not having that right now, and you're seeing other people showing up in their relationships on the outside that they have everything that you desire, well, maybe ask them, have a conversation with them. How is your relationship? How is it really showing up? What are you guys doing that is, that is making it appear so connected, so loving, so everything? You know, have that conversation with them, understand it, and see what is going on really within it. Because when you understand what's truly going on, there are a lot of people in this world that are just content with struggle. 
because there's a perception around relationships that just got to be hard and that they can't be connected, that you, you can't be loving, you can't be this. And yeah, there's going to be times where you're, you're disagreeing with each other, but disagreeing and emotionally abusive or just unhealthy and toxic are two very different things. When one party is putting the other person down versus just disagreeing that, you know, this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight or whatever it might be. And if those sorts of things are happening all the time, well, then maybe you need to assess what's, what's that about as well. But I digress. All I'm saying and the intention for this video is just to know that everything that you're seeing on, on the outside of other people's world may not be the full picture. So be real with yourself and be easy and kind and caring on yourself that if your relationship is not showing up in that way, then ask yourself. Maybe there's something that you're not willing to actually admit to yourself as to why and how you could shift and change that relationship. Anyway, if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and I'll see you on the next one.